welcome back guys hello hello my name is jeffrey and my name is michael and this is michael and jeffrey's top 10 podcast where we talk about our favorite pop culture subjects Mm -hmm. today star wars yeah star wars yeah we're back back. uh sorry we got the new um andor series coming out huh yeah hopefully it's like obi-wan <laughs> <laughs> we got the new uh andor series coming out guys it's coming out uh it actually it came out yesterday <laughs> 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 and um we are gonna go ahead and uh put a review on the series also probably like mid-series you know episode six something like that we'll do like a halfway review and then we'll do like an end review and or an all review or you know we'll do something we'll do something with it but for today we're going to talk about one of uh one of the (laughs) most recent shows (laughs) what's the what's the nicest way to put it (laughs) talk about (laughs) We're, uh, we're going to uh, critique this, uh, <laughs> this show. What show are we talking about here, Jeffrey? Uh, Obi-Wan, our favorite Jedi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, we're going to go ahead and talk about Obi-Wan. All right. And by the tone of my voice, guys, I don't know if you could tell. Um, I wasn't a big fan. Yeah. What about you, Jeff? Definitely, definitely could have been better, but I don't know. It, I think that whole era, like that that time period they picked, not not a lot, not a lot to work with. So I don't know. Yeah, there there, there wasn't a whole lot like going on. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like uh, like maybe that's why George Lucas did it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Because there just wasn't a lot going on, yeah. <laughs> and like, uh, Clone Wars kind of you know spilled the beans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened like in between, you know? So you pretty much know what's gonna happen. That's the only that's like that's one of the bad things I thought about Obi Wan is that you know I thought it was gonna be like all original. Like, all original. You know mm. what I mean? I mean? It was, I guess, but you knew that Darth Vader was going to be in it. Yeah. Yes. You, he has to be. Like, you knew that, um, like, probably Luke and... Le- you knew Luke was going to be a part of it, you know? Mm. Maybe, like, the big surprise was Leia. Right. You know? um, spoilers. Remember, guys. Spoilers yeah. for the Obi-Wan series. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. But, I mean, that was probably, like, the biggest surprise of that series, was that Leia came out in it. Right. And that kind of goes against canon. Right, like, yeah. Because Leia didn't know who Obi-Wan was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you fought with my father in the Clone Wars. Like, we need your help, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Not like, hey, Ben, uh, can you come and help us out? <laughs> yeah, like you did when you saved my life the other time. Life-changing moment in my life. <laughs> and I don't remember you. How are they going to, like, like, what? <laughs> like, fat pothole, dude. Like, come on, bro. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you know their explanation to that was? That, they had an explanation for that? Uh, I don't know if it was their explanation, but it was Leia, because in the end of the series, um, Obi-Wan says, like, all right, Leia, make sure you tell any- don't tell anyone that we met or we know each other. So she's playing it off like they've never met. <laughs> in a life-threatening situation. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I need to keep my promise. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Mm-hmm, Terrible. Mm-hmm. Like, why? Why bring Leia into it? You had Luke. You had Luke there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, there. Like, Ben wasn't supposed to fucking leave Tatooine. Yeah. 
<laughs> like at all. Yeah, <laughs> that was to protect the boy. That was his whole thing. And then when Sith come to fucking Tatooine, he's not there. <laughs> he's not there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> I will say though, it did start out pretty. It started out pretty cool when they they were showing the transition from Clone Wars into whatever that time yeah. period it was. It was like, oh, you're seeing Jedi's die. You're seeing all this cool stuff happen. But that was like what the first five minutes of the first episode. Yeah. And then the rest of the episode, you're just watching Obi Wan live his miserable life. <laughs> <laughs> Which was like cool you know what i mean like because you get to see kind of like of what uh he's been doing like these last what what's what, 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 what was it 10 years the last 10 years yeah how old are they? the twins they're like 10? 10 they're like 10 yeah yeah so like i mean i guess you know that's pretty cool that um i mean they kind of show how his life is going or what he's doing right now you know he's kind of just going through the motions and you know I guess, like, visiting Luke here and there, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you thought he would, you know? Mm -hmm. And then they kind of just, like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, Throwing these, like, random ass, like, I mean, how many Inquisitors, like, are there? Five or six, I think. I don't know in that because they, they like grow over time or it always changes. But I think in the in that show, there's they showed four. I believe. Did you like the second sister? Um, no, but they I think she had to be that way. They kind of made her made you want to hate her <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> but the, the thing I hated was just. Like that first episode, even part of the second episode, it was all about her and Leia. No Obi Wan. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. After the first couple episodes, I was like, I think I even told you this like <laughs> before. Like, so is this Obi Wan or uh, Reva. what's her name? Reva or, or, or Reva and Leia? <laughs> yeah. like, what? Mm -hmm. It was the sh we're only getting six episodes of Obi Wan Kenobi. And for half of the whole fucking show, he's not even there. <laughs> like, like, come on, guys. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could have at least included Obi-Wan and everything else of the Obi-Wan show. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, if I'm getting a little uh, passionate about that. <laughs> I was looking forward to this show for two years. Two years. When we first heard about Obi Wan Kenobi, the show with you and McGregor mm -hmm. back as Obi Wan Kenobi, we thought, "Oh shit, mm -hmm. this would be great." But no, Obi Wan looked like a bitch. That's Boy. what they did. They made Obi Wan look like a bitch. And the best thing that he did was in that last episode when he had all those fucking rocks, like when, when he used all those rocks with the Force. Mm, yeah, that's the best shit that they did. But that CGI was shit. Also, <laughs> I have all this money. I think even you said it. They have all this money for like man the the Mandalorian. Yeah, you know, to make the Mandalorian look all sick and like the CGI. Like, I mean, they didn't even need to really use so much CGI, right? Like, like it was it was. I'm guessing it was mostly like on set and shit. Yeah, but then you bring. The CGI to Obi Wan and uh, Jeffrey, you start talking about it because I'm just I'm just going off. I'm just going off. <laughs> yeah, it was it was like how we kind of mentioned earlier. It's they this they painted himself in the corner. You already know what's gonna happen at the end. You already know what happened before. And during that whole time period, Obi Wan's supposed to lay low. So <laughs> you can't really you know go say oh he's not supposed to, but he did. Um, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the way they did it, I mean, I get it. He was, he's so, you know, depressed that, you know, all the Jedi's died and he's a broken person, but 
that was probably what three fourths of the se uh, season, and then he only becomes like a badass at the end. So, kind of kind of reminds me of Last Jedi. You know, we all we're all like, oh, Luke's a total badass, and you know, because then wah, wah. <laughs> nothing happens. So he's a ghost, and he ends up dying <laughs> after he becomes a ghost. <laughs> he actually turns into a ghost. <laughs> But he's the most powerful of them all now. <laughs> Even um, my the thing that sticks out the most, I don't know if you remember this part of the episode. It was the first episode um, when they're trying to kidnap Leia. The, like, uh, I guess, bounty hunters or mercenaries. Mm. There's this, I don't know how old she is. She's, she's, she's super young, super short. She can't run fast. But she's out running, like, these three out, like, <laughs> grown-ass men, juking them out. <laughs> It's like, what are you guys doing? Well, I can say, when I was a little boy, I was real fast. <laughs> <laughs> I got to put a clip of that. They just, they literally right in front of her, and they, you know, they do the whole. Oh. If you can see down here, this is uh, what Jeffrey's talking about. <laughs> um, she's pretty much all she's doing is she doesn't even look like she's running fast. She's jogging. <laughs> she's like, she's like. You know, and then like the guys are like, "Oh, come here!" You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking Disney, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Disney. Uh, Mr. Lucas, you made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's fucking like. I wonder what you know. I wonder what George Lucas thinks of mm -hmm. the Obi Wan series. We'll get him on the show. We'll get him on the show, guys. Don't you worry, <laughs> Mr. Lucas. If you can get on the show so we can discuss this topic, please. Yeah. We need some follow-up. We really need some follow-up about <laughs> this. We need to get some uh, some of your feedback on this, Mr. George Lucas. So please, uh, Michael and Jeffrey's top 10, uh, come on now. <laughs> we will send a mention to George Lucas. They did a couple Easter eggs, right? I mean, that was cool. I bet like? That one time, they, I guess Obi-Wan goes into the vault and he sees, like, uh, the Inquisitors like uh, have a trophy room of Jedi's. Like you see the young Link, you see some of the some of the Jedi's from the Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. That was kind of cool, but I mean that lasts for like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and then like you know the grand the Grand Inquisitor is gonna gonna come back somehow. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, like, <laughs> <laughs> like he has to like like. Clone Wars or uh, Rebels, right? He's in. He's mainly in Rebels. Mm -hmm. Like he has to come back. So like, if they were, like, I wasn't surprised. You know, like, <laughs> it was like, either they were gonna bring him back this season, or the next season. <laughs> yeah, he was coming back no matter what. <laughs> yeah, like, and honestly, I'm sure everybody, or not everybody, but most Star Wars fans. I'm sure only watch this series in the hopes of getting a Maul and Kenobi fight at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Or some kind of Maul reference. They didn't even make any Darth Maul references. That's true. Zero. Zero. And what happens in between? Everybody knows Obi-Wan fucks that shit up. Obi <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everybody went already to spoiler alert guys, if you don't know, Obi-Wan kills Darth Maul. So like I'm sure everybody wanted to see like an epic battle. I mean, I know I did. I wanted to see an epic battle between Kenobi and um either Darth Vader or Darth Maul. And we really didn't get that epic battle with Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. Like it was cool, you know. But like they made a big deal about hitting Christensen coming back, and he, <laughs> they, barely, they barely showed him. Yeah, <laughs> he was in the costume. <laughs> yeah, this is him. I swear, guys. <laughs> this is not his stunt double, guys. I, <laughs> I swear. Oh my God, like, what are some good? What's some good shit that came out of that? Um, yes. I don't know. So we're gonna have to probably wait till Andor. Just because they're probably gonna 
do some references between the two. So it's going to be one of those things like, oh, that guy was in Obi-Wan. That's sick. But we didn't know. <laughs> uh, but I mean, isn't isn't Obi One set like seven or eight years before? Oh well, I guess that's not a very long time, right? Yeah. yeah. Because they were like sixteen when when Luke was like starting to learn the Force, right? He was still was he still a kid? He was still a kid, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah. you got Andor, Rogue One. Um, so... Oh, yeah, uh, what's his name? Um, Saul, uh... Guerrero. Yeah, Saul Guerrero is gonna be in the show also. Mm-hmm. You know? So that's pretty cool. Um... What do you think that, uh... I forget. The guy that comes out in, um... The Marvel movies? Stan Lee. Uh, the dad... <laughs> R.I.P. R- 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 <laughs> oh, no. oh no, Jeffrey! Don't don't don't, don't bring his name into this. <laughs> no, but um, I think like uh, not Thor's dad, but Jane's dad or something like that, mm. or Jane, uh, the the professor or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't he come out in it, and he has like a robe or whatever. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Andor. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder who he's gonna be. Yeah. See, we're already forgetting about Obi Wan. We we just want to move <laughs> on from Obi Wan. Right? <laughs> and but and we're and we're talking about like good things that came out of it. I don't think they're like they made. Oh my god! Like that scene also where he holds the water like right there. Mm, oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like uh, when it, when the glass is breaking. And then, like, he moves, like, at the last minute. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> if he wasn't a super powerful Jedi, he would never have been able to keep... <laughs> well, maybe the planet has different laws. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, Michael, jeez. Oh, okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> but, like, come on. He has all that water coming through the glass. He can hold that. But he can't, like push Reva back <laughs> make any no. sense no so you know what so the way I think about it like this series didn't add anything to the overall Star Wars like if it was never made no one would care <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> which is unfortunate um I don't know if he's a sir or not but he's a an actor, a British actor, so I'm guessing he's good, a sir, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ewan McGregor, I love you as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mm-hmm. Sir, I made you look like a little bitch. Mm-hmm. They did, not you. Not you, Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. They did. <laughs> the writers and the creators of this show... The producers, the people putting out the trailers, like even when you hit hit the trailers, like okay, you're you're they're not really gonna show you a whole lot. They show you a little some. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even get anything in the trailers. All right. I think they just want to show off, like, hey, look, it's modern Star Wars, and you know, it, it could have been just more of a test, like, hey, let's just make a Obi Wan story, but let's just test all this new technology they, out. <laughs> they just go ahead and, uh, and retcon this, yeah. <laughs> this, this show. Oh, man. I couldn't believe it. Like, like, there was, like, some cool moments, you know? Like, when the Inquisitor did, you know, you were like, huh, I wonder what they're gonna, where they're gonna go with this, you know? Um, at the time. But then... <laughs> he just shows up. <laughs> oh, then he just shows up. <laughs> Oh, Darth Vader, I would like to do this myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, I mean, that's it. Yeah. That's it. I, it, definitely, it definitely was more of a Reva show. Like, they... A, a, they should have called it Reva and Leia. Yeah. That's what they should have called it. Because they, they went through a whole arc. Most of the arc was like, 
Hey, Reva, what used to be a Jedi? Oh, now she went bad. Now she's... As, as its own show, I'm sure that would have been a great show. Yeah. And something that they could have, like... I'm sure they could do a spinoff also, and I would, I'm sure I would love that show because she's, she, she does a good job acting. She does a good job at, like, getting you to hate her. You know what I mean? And uh, um, she does a good job as portraying, like, a Sith because a Sith... Like evil is absolute, and just to bet they want to better themselves, like um, any way possible, mm-hmm. you know. And I got that out of her. So like, she was a great character, but just the way they executed the show and put it in an Obi Wan show, it didn't make any sense to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I could have watched Reva, you know, mm-hmm. show about her. We could we could have watched a show about Leia. That would have been cool too. That little girl, she knows how to act. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like she, she, she was cool. Like it, it, she was a cool character. But how it fit into Obi Wan's story, it didn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fucking plot hole, like crazy. I, I don't know what Obi Wan learned at the end of this. Like, I don't. Well, what was the purpose <laughs> for him at least? He learned that uh, women really love their droids. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he learned, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dirty. <Wow. laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. What would you rate it, though? Out of 20 pickles? I'll give it a slice. Mm. A slice of pickles. Out of 20 pickles, I'll give it a little slice. One slice of one pickle. Mm, That's what I will give. That's generous. (laughs) You're just going to give him the brine? (laughs) (laughs) Just the pickle juice. I I rate it pickle juice. (laughs) What would you rate it? Is that what you rate it? Pickle juice? Yes, pickle juice. (laughs) Oh, man. But hopefully, I mean, Mandalorian Season 3 is coming out. We have a little list of uh, stuff that's coming out that hopefully, because Mandalorian was great. It was a great show. Mm -hmm. It it is a great show. You know what I mean? Season 1 and Season 2, they're great. And then hopefully these next ones are are good. Um, Diego Luna as Andor. I mean, he did a great job in Rogue One. You know, um, uh, there's uh, tales of so Andor is coming out yesterday. Sure. <laughs> uh, we weren't sure, guys. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which. One? We were like, okay, let's do it. Okay, and then <laughs> time constraints, time constraints, time, time constraints. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we, there's uh, Tales of the Jedi, which is an animated short. I'm Ooh. pretty sure it's going to be um, that one's supposed to come out October 26th um, this next month, right? Mm. So um, I I think that one's like a if not like a what if, but like a, another Clone Wars kind of thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, where it's like different. I mean, it pretty much had the same story going on, but everybody had their different tales and shit like that. I'm sure they'll probably like go off at like visions, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, the Bad Batch season two. I need to start. I need to watch the whole season. I think I only watched like four or five episodes. I only seen one. Yeah, good so far. With, yeah. yeah, it was good. Um, I think I got to number. No, I think I got to number four. But with what I watched, it was pretty cool. Okay. It was like, oh, it's like the whole time you're thinking, um, okay, so is this planned or is it not? Is it planned or is it not? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's, so we got that. That was coming out January 23. The Mandalorian season three is coming out next year. They have a Young Jedi Adventures animated TV series in spring of next year. Star Wars Visions comes out in spring, and then next year also the the Ahsoka series comes out. And I mean, 
Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. she did a, she did a great job in the Mandalorian, you right. know. Um, I believed that it was Ahsoka, you know. Um, and I I just don't know where they went wrong. <laughs> like with Obi Wan, <laughs> like, like like you got the guy making Mandalorian. Who is it? Is it John Favreau? Who's John? Who's in charge Favreau. of it? Yeah. You got John Favreau just right there making the Mandalorian look great. And then you just, who do you give? Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. It's Obi-Wan, guys. It's Obi-Wan. I'm sorry. I'm very, I love Obi-Wan. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I hear good uh, things about Andor, though. I've listened on early spoiler free reviews, and it's very reminiscent of Rogue One. So nice. Hopefully. Or- Dude and shit. Yeah, it's for a more mature audience. Ooh. Yeah, yeah but I heard, like, I heard like, there's a little like Game of Thrones Z. What? Nah. That's, on this? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's, that's why I read. I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't seen it. But that's you know what? They, they do have parental controls now on Disney Plus. Mm. Like, there's like a, a setting that you can watch like rated R movies and shit. Wow. Oh. Yeah. It's locked to kids. But are they going to do that? That's what I read, so we'll have to see. Game of Thronesy. That's that's kind of saying a lot. Like it's probably because, like a little less, but that direction. I mean, even a little less Game of Thronesy is a lot. Game of Thronesy. You know what I mean? Like, For like do they mean that it with violence, or do they mean that with like the nudity mm-hmm. or the sexual, like the sexuality of it? Are they? It, I heard it does introduce sex into the oh, Star Wars universe. Shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I already love it more than Obi Wan. <laughs> sex, sex cells. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> now you know how to get me. <laughs> and we're back. We got him. <laughs> and you see, we stopped talking about Obi Wan. <laughs> They'll forget all about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I want to thank you guys for letting me um, <laughs> rat on <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, getting uh, this Obi-Wan <laughs> thing off my chest. I guess we'll call it a review. I don't know. I'm not going to call it a review. I'm going to call it like a, <laughs> uh, I don't know, a rib blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dad, guys. All right. So you're going to get a lot of those. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, would you like any to say any uh, anything else about uh, Obi Wan there, Jeffrey? No, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Look ahead. Let's just see what comes out. <laughs> Look towards the future, guys. Um, we got a whole lot of Star Wars coming ahead of us. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get a review of Andor. Talk about the steaminess. Uh, pretty soon there. Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly. 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 <laughs> we'll see. Um, it will premiere at 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, we'll go ahead and give you guys a review on that, uh, you know, somewhere mid-season, uh, probably after episode six or something like that. We'll uh, talk about it, talk about it at the end. Um, but if you don't have anything else, Jeffrey, thank you guys for listening. Uh, I want to remind you guys that we do uh, put out a new show every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, we're going to have our top 10 countdown on Tuesdays. And then every Thursday, we're going to have a shorter episode. Um, if you guys uh, uh, watched that last uh, trivia episode, Jim's uh, Thursday Night Trivia, we're going to go ahead and have another trivia episode uh, next week for episode 2 on Thursday. I'm sorry, for uh, for next Thursday's uh, show that's gonna be round two, guys. Two, two, two. Uh, two of Jim's. Uh, that's Jeffrey, Ivan, and Michael's Thursday night trivia. The prize is gonna be two or a twenty-five dollar gift card of the choice of the winner by each person, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, post what we won uh, later on and uh, gloat about it and talk shit. Um, but. Without further ado, guys, my name is Michael. 
And I'm Jeffrey. And we hate Obi-Wan. Peace. Check it out. <laughs>